Hi, I'm Rachel with Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to show you how to record a customer prepayment or a customer deposit. In this video, I'm going to use QuickBooks Desktop 2020. This will work the same in most of your desktop products, so if you're not using 2020, you'll still be fine. There's two ways to record a customer prepayment. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a customer prepayment as a negative accounts receivable on their account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the home page, which is what you see here. In the middle of my screen, in the customer section, I'm going to click on Receive Payments. I'm going to find Rachel the customer and I'm going to pretend that Rachel the customer is paying $500. So there's no invoice this is being linked to. Rachel's just paying $500 which will be applied to future invoices. This is going to happen today. It's check number 123 and I'll say it's via check. So in the lower left hand corner it tells us that there's an overpayment of $500 and it gives us the choice of what to do about that. We can leave it as a credit to be used later or we can refund the amount to the customer. Well, the whole intent is to leave it as a credit to be used later, so we're gonna keep that circle selected. In the lower right-hand corner, I'm gonna click Save and Close. I acknowledge this pop-up and I click on OK. Now, if I wanna look and see that my customer, Rachel, has a credit, I can click on Customers. And then on the left hand side, I see Rachel's balance is negative $500, meaning that she's overpaid by $500. Another way to go about it if you have a long customer list is to look at the customer accounts receivable report. I'm going to click on reports, go down to customer and receivable, and then over to AR aging summary. I can then see that Rachel, the customer, has a negative $500 balance. If you don't like that report, you can go to reports customer and receivable, customer balance summary, and I can see Rachel the customer has a negative $500 balance. So let me show you how to apply that balance to an invoice. In the top menu, I'm going to click on customers, and then I'm going to go down to create invoice. I'm going to say Rachel the customer, quantity of one, we're going to say she's bought training, she's bought one unit of training for $10. I'm going to click save and close. A little message pops up and says this customer has available credits. Credits is QuickBooks lingo for a prepayment. Would you like to apply those to this invoice? I'm going to say yes. It says that there's $500 credits available and how much would I like to use? I'd like to use $10 of it, leaving my balance of available credit to $490. i will click on done. I want to show you a situation where if you accidentally forget that pop-up, how you can apply the credits to the invoice. So we'll just use a different number to make sure that it's easy to spot. So in this case, we're going to say two units of training. We're going to say save and close. We're going to say no, because we've accidentally forgot to do that. At the top menu bar, I'm going to click on customers, and then I'm going to go down to receive payments. Rachel, the customer, is my customer, and I've got this open invoice, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then at the top of my screen, I'm going to say discounts and credits. This is kind of confusing because discounts makes you think you're giving a discount, but you're not. And credits meaning I'm going to apply a credit or a prepayment. So when I click on that, I can see the amount of credits that I have available. Rachel, the customer, has $490 worth of credit available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I'm going to say, please use $20 of it for this invoice. And then I click Done. So I can see the payment amount. I'm receiving $0 into the bank account. I'm giving the customer credit or applying $20 of their credit, leaving their payment of 0 and their amount due is 0 I'll click Save and Close. Now when I look at Rachel, the customer, I can see that her balance is 470 I can double click on it and I can see the history of what's happening. I can see the $500 credit, the $10 invoice, and the $20 invoice. 
If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Leave a note in the comments or send me an email. Thank you so much. Thank you.